I'm Thesia Ellis, and welcome to Grandma's Homestead. But I'm not on Homestead. I am at the Self Reliance Festival, and it is noisy. I'm inside at my booth with it all set up and everything. I'll show that to you. And as the day goes on, I'll show you that some of the other booths we got set up, and of course some speakers. It's going to be a wonderful weekend. First of all, here's the booth I have set up, and this is a really good, really good. Can I come up with some better adjectives than that? Probably not. But I really like this this lady's skincare stuff. She's got some some samples and stuff that you can do, but. Uh, the rash cream, the healing cream, face cream, this is unscented, and all this other stuff has different lovely scents like honey, chocolate, vanilla, cappuccino, lemongrass, and my mug, Grandma's Homestead mug. And we're handing out stickers. Well, I'm handing out stickers. We're all doing stuff for different slide bags. And yes, I've got my Suffer of Survival Podcast mug and my Boomer Sooner cup. Okay, this is the Top It Off booth, and she's got some really cool dips and stuff that she does. Like, there's one that's pesto, chimichurri sauce, how you pronounce that? Tomb? Tomb sauce, tahini, and jalapeno. Okay, she lets you taste them too. I've had her stuff. I took, what I, I think it's a tomb I took home in, in March. It's good stuff. All right, this guy has got raw honey. I'm not sure where he's located though. But uh, he's got the bit bomb and quartz. Yeah, and the candy and everything too. Now this is a different thing. It took me well, had to have a friend explain to me what it was. This is a plug to keep your where you put your spare tire where it won't rust and you can actually on, get to it. And look at this cool stuff. She's got pot holders, microwave bags, coin purses, soap holders. She has been busy. And look at all these really cute aprons. And for little kids and big kids too. I love this one. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I like that. And it's actually crochets also. Beautiful stuff. And this is a different booth here. And I haven't seen who it is yet, but that intense. Oh, this is body of Oh, I know what this is. This is Salima. Salima. She does really neat stuff. I love her. I love what she's got. Isn't that beautiful? If you like that, come by and see This guy. It's got the radio stuff, basic SHCF yeah, radio, and yes, I'm selling direct antenna, antennas. that's pretty cool. And this guy is an author who's written all these books, Joe Dolio, and he's got a YouTube channel that I'll be looking up here in a few minutes. I like this. I like that. That looks cool. Jerusalem cross. A Jerusalem cross? Oh, I didn't when, when know that. When the Christians ruled Jerusalem, it was the only time that true religious freedom was allowed in the medieval ages. So that's why I chose that one. It kind of, to me, it represents what America stands for, right? Religious freedom and the ability to retain that. So that's why we chose our logo. And How's it going? Well, it I like that because we need to kind of get back in that direction. Yeah, that's for sure. Absolutely. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to start on this end because I'm going to finish up with this thing. This is Thunder Hill Farm, and she, she apparently enjoys cooking a whole lot more than I do. She's made some wonderful sauces. This is all supposed to be for keto. These are soaps and stuff, and there's some um, snacks that you can do. Ooh, look at that. So, uh, raised garden. And then uh, these are all some like, jams and stuff. Look at how many different varieties she has. Is that amazing or what? And then, because she's smart, she's got one of those for they do the QR code. I'm going to have to learn how to do that. But this is neat. Okay, this is what this, this guy has been here for a couple years that I know of, and he's got the Amazon stuff, and he's also got a book that pays for IBC. That's going to not be interesting and becoming your own banker. But yeah, you know what? I've always seen the advertisements on people's vehicles for Amazon, but I've never checked into it. This lady has a booth here where she does massages and I had one last fall from her and it was, a, it was a lifesaver and if I catch her doing a massage I may come back in a few minutes and catch her doing that. 
And then this lady does keto and diabetic medic friendly, really cool snacks. I've had some of her stuff and it's good. Oh, and see, that's I ate. That's what I had for my snack yesterday was pork rinds. Pork, pork rinds, yeah. Well, I have the adult version of uh, for snacks. I've got chocolate covered bacon, um, fused with Jack Daniels or butterballs. Oh, that's cool. But you have to be 21 days in order to purchase. <laughs> yeah. Wanna, I'm gonna keep the big brother away from us. Yeah, really. Yeah. Okay, and we're over here. This is My Healthy Soap. It's a really beautiful young lady with two little girls, and the youngest one is a very little girl. Oh, look, it looks like she's doing stuff here. Wow, oh, that's cool. Some more soap here. No synthetic ingredients. And then right next to this, Looks like he's got all the tactical gear stuff. I don't know what the name of the stuff is, but he's got the tactical gear. And these people, this is hemp stuff. I get this wrong, y'all tell me. Okay, this is insulation made from hemp. And there's some uh, hemp crete. Get this spray clean, but gas everybody out. Yeah, mom this guy. Mom needs uh, some spray clean and some grease. That's all. They've got the one pen with a plastic pen, the plastic nylon or whatever. So it's the same blade, it's way lighter. Yeah. This is the tactical response booth. Got four pillars of fighting. Look at these bringing books, and I love books. And then look at this stuff. Yeah. Isn't that sweet looking? Mm -mm -mm. Homemade beef jerky. Good. Much better than anything that a gas station can offer. Oh, is that right? Well, yeah. Probably didn't have all the chemicals and stuff in it, huh? Cool. And this boat is optimized, and he does like hormones and weight loss therapy, and and looks like sexual health and stuff. And red light. Oh, yeah. We know about the red light for Joe JP Sears, huh? Because <laughs> he's always talking about that on his things. Yeah, this is neat. I didn't know exactly that what that's what that was. Yeah. Cool. I do not know the ins and outs of this, but look at that. Mm -hmm. It's dripping down. Yeah. 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 And this is Nicole's booth here with her sauce. Not her sauce. It's Nicole's sauce. So I said that. Then this is her coffee. And the and the wind is picked up. And here's some of her coffee here. She's got medium, an Italian roast, and dark roast and stuff. She does different roast, and it's really good coffee for sure. Yeah. All right. And this is the visitor booth, and. They've got so much. Look, Joel Salton's going to be here tomorrow, and he's going to do some stuff and talk, and he's going to have a uh, um, a chicken processing thing on Monday. But look, they got some of his books here. Ooh, I don't know if I've read that one. There's a whole bunch of them I haven't read. I've got a couple of them. Oh, look how young he is there. Cool. His newest one is right here. Homestead yeah. Tsunami. Oh, yeah, that's right. Homestead Tsunami is his newest book. That's cool. See, I've got this one I haven't read yet. This one, I've got this one and this one I have. What about everything I want to do is illegal? Not yet. I haven't got that one. I should get that one for sure. But, yeah. And he has a children's book. Oh, I said he know he had a children's book. Very cool. And here's Don Gorham's booth, and this is so cool because I met her last year. And look at all the stuff that she's expanded into. Okay, I gotta show you this one though. This one caught my eye earlier. Snot nose is red sumac and goldenrod. That's for if you have a snotty nose. But she's got different things that she does for tinctures and stuff there. Uh, oh, we've got muscadine jelly. She's got some soap. They've done a lot of stuff. Very proud of her. This is so cool. All right, now I'm over here at this booth, and he's got fire cider and hot honey cider. Hot honey, so he's got, I can't remember, he told me what kind of peppers were in it. Pumpkin spice honey. 
peach, ginger, blueberry, sage. Kind of cool stuff here. Oh, these are dressings. Got it. And marinades. I'm here early this morning, so some people are not set up yet. But here's some yeah, I was gonna ask gun oil. Like Mountain grown gun oil. I don't, know they, I don't know what they think that is. You never know. From Backwoods Butcher. And yesterday they had a bunch of ducks up where you could do something, but I don't know. But I'm going to show you these patches. Tulmantian does these patches. Like doers are better than donkers. Some of the others are like, yeah, maybe. Because I I like that one too. Two is one, and one is none. Three is a guarantee. I like that one. Because I've seen that he parked Yeah, he, um, he is. <laughs> And this one I'm considering for myself. Okay, so maybe I did meet. Cool. Um, but this but is Toolman Tim and yeah, Brian Alexa at this this at this booth. I'm catching these guys before they've got things going either. Yesterday he had beef stew. Oh my gosh! I'm sitting there trying to wait on customers and I'm smelling something wonderful and it was wonderful. And because I had to go get a bowl. There's no. I don't know what he's going to be making today. And this is Grumpy Acres over here. They're, I don't know what they're cooking up. Must be some really good breakfast. Oh, what are they going to have for lunch? Hot dogs, barbecue chicken sliders. I may have to check them out for lunch. That'll be good. So not only are they making good hot food, but they've got all kinds of stuff. And you've seen this home from one of my previous videos when they were in prior Oklahoma. He does signs and things, and they've got a lot of wonderful freeze-dried food. And what they do is... She's an excellent, well, okay, these are candles, but here's some check it at Palm Bites. She makes up a wonderful meal and then freeze dries them, sells them like that. And they say a lot of truckers like those because they lay flat and they do uh, uh, the way they're designed and stuff. They're really good for packing and, and everything and they are excellent food. This is a booth for ready-made resources too and I've always been hearing about them. Probably, uh, I can't remember what podcast, probably Jack Spearco's. There's no telling. I listen to me podcasts. But look at this. See, it's cool to see it in person. You can always hear about it on podcasts and, and people talking about it stuff. But seeing it in person is like, okay, all right, I got you now. All right, this is Discount Mylar Bags, and he is expanding, which is good because he's on these podcasts, and now people know about him real good too. So, excellent. I love that people are growing and expanding. Okay, this was Heartland Family Designs. Oh, and, <laughs> and I love this. I took a picture of this one. Yep, as a grandma. Yep, that'll work. But I, I love all these. I, I don't remember it. Oh, we've got some LFTN. Stuff. Yeah. And then uh, this is the festival of the self reliance That's the one, and actually Nicole's Color Rose Coffee. Excellent. That's cool. Oh, neat. But look at all this stuff. They do a really good job. I mean, I mean, I know it's a laser thing, but that's really cool. And I may have to check you out to see if you can do some stuff for my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Neat. Okay. Ooh, and I like the We the People one. Excellent. This is so cool. And this is SNB Homestead Radios, and he's over there messing with the radio. See, he's way outside my, my realm of knowledge right there. But this is very cool. Look at all this gear he has, too. Awesome. Now I'm at Mama Wendy's booth. I got to talk to her for quite a bit, a little bit yesterday. Quite a bit, a little bit. I got to talk to her for quite a while. And she does different salves and uh, tinctures and stuff, looks like. She's got some meads and vinegars. And looks like she's got all kind of, and look at all this stuff. I don't even know what kind of critter that was from. But yeah, but she's got some cool stuff here. Okay, I'm back over here at Tim Tim's well, we booth and stuff. Because like, like, I told you there were some ducks. And look at all these ducks. And I found out that that's what they put on Jeeps here. But they put, if you go and there's a, uh, a duck on the Jeep, it's because somebody had put it there. That makes better sense. I wondered about that. Here's for Kangan Water. Here's a... a Somebody who does sells that in, in the town that I live in in Oklahoma. So this is good water. This is cool because we all know that what's in our water is not what something we need to be drinking. Very cool. All right, now I'm at Visions of Bounty booth, and look, they've got some cool lye soap. This is like old-fashioned lye soap. Isn't that cool looking? Neat. Then of course they've got the lip balm, the different kinds. I like those. What are these? Oh, vanilla extract. And they've got some honey because somebody's got bees. 
That's good looking honey too. Excellent. And oh man, I'm glad that I didn't have to come here when I was hungry and have some cinnamon rolls. <laughs> now I'm at this booth. It's Essential Oil Works. And this is a pretty cool system. She does the thing where she scans your head. Oh, do you want I'll let you explain it. Go ahead. Oh, sure. It's transdermal optical imaging and it scans your face because scientists that are way smarter than me have figured out algorithms of what areas of your face coincide with which areas of your body and it's Chinese medicine as well and what they do is we can tell like your liver or your kidneys or your gastrointestinal or even your hormones and your emotions simply by a transdermal scan and then we blend you an essential oil depending on what the system tells us that you need because the system knows the molecular and chemical components of the oils and I'm here to tell you where to put them. <laughs> too cool. Okay, this one is Homestead Twins, and he's got, they've got uh, soap from lard, isn't that called? Okay, yeah, it's got some stuff like that in it too. Saponified lard from the pigs. And, I've, and he's got cool stickers. I was here last year and seen some of the stickers and stuff he has, and he's got some freeze-dried things here. Oh, glow stick holder. Oh, neat. Isn't it crazy what some people come up with? DeWalt battery holder. I bet he's doing that with the 3D printer. So cool. Okay, I just walked up to this booth and here I'm seeing with the tube coming out the nose, of course, I being a bonehead thinking you should be going down the throat or the mouth and he was saying that actually you can hurt both vocal cords that way but if you go through the nose, they can breathe without without obstructing other parts of the body. But so he's got some really cool stuff here like for pressure wraps and all kinds of other uh, burn things just all kinds of medical first aid kid stuff and it looks like he's been giving some demonstrations here too very cool uh, poverty um and, and and tim just you know be cool here a minute it's okay <laughs> but in, instead of chasing how much you can earn let's instead chase on how little we need to actually live on California and moved to Tennessee so we're just kind of thinking do we want to service these people and potentially double our income the trailer will go down that dip I think it's too narrow what's down that road and we can't turn around and I didn't have an answer for her but we couldn't stop and think about it because all we wanted to do is get there and get to sleep if we had stuck to our limits, if we had stuck to two hours or 200 miles, we would have been okay. All right, I am back home. I am more tired than I want to be or want to admit to be anyway, but I am home and uh, I have to admit I'm glad to be back home. My dogs, especially Beethoven, Beethoven was just like, he's only gone three days, but uh, he's been following me everywhere I go. It has to be right there with me and even Candy's acted a little bit differently and Mopar the cat in the, that my barn cat he's like right there so I don't know I really wasn't gone that long um, but yeah, you know how it is with animals um, everybody else well I, that one, I had one little chick that died but I kind of expected he was going to die because uh, he was late being hatched out and it just was it was just struggling it was one of those things where he was taking so long to hatch that you're going well should I just put him out of his misery or what should we do and uh, we let him go, kept going, and we actually even helped him just a teeny bit just so he can kind of get out. And he lasted a couple more days, but he was just too weak. And he did die, but I think that's the only loss I had while I was gone. Um, I worked that Sunday. There was a lot of cool speakers, and I did not get hardly any of them. And I kind of feel bad about that, but, you know, I was there to sell skincare and uh, mugs for my and, and to get the word out for my YouTube channel that's what I'm really trying to do is get the word out for my YouTube channel is so I can grow and I can and uh, bring some income in is what I'm trying to do and I've been at this for a while it's time to figure out how to get the, uh, do the income part of it but um, I stayed until four was pretty much packed up by four and then I drove eight and a half hours home so it was like I don't know when you guys count for stopping for gas and stuff so it was one o'clock in the morning when i got home and i should have had time i should be recovered but i'm not apparently <laughs> that's what happens when you get older you just don't recover as quickly but that's okay and that's kind of a bummer too because you know all right you just leave a wonderful um event meet a lot of good people I, when i did i talked to some really good people and was really pleased with it and uh learned a lot and just made some good good connections with people 
and then you okay i'm here i'm home let's hit the floor let's hit the floor running and i can't <laughs> you know but that's okay uh, i made a couple of notes here part one of the thing is i like to go uh, what i really like about uh the self-reliance festival is the doers these people are doers they don't sit around and talk about what they're going to do they don't sit around and and uh, reminisce about what should have done or you know whatever they're out there doing they know they can't change what's going on in the political world they know they can't change what's going on and a whole lot of things but they can can change their own personal uh, per own personal lives and that's what they do and they do it with kindness to each other so it's I appreciate it and I really like that uh, <laughs> that's a note lots of beards and testosterone but you know what I don't mind a little testosterone and stuff too but I mean like I said they're all still kind and everything but I mean there's a lot of you know there's a, a particular one guy in particular he goes i don't fit in with here he goes i wear ca uh, uh, cargo shorts and i don't have a beard and and, he, and but he's one of the best salesmen i've ever seen he can sell some he can sell some uh food toppings but so i don't know it was fun but yeah there was a lot of beards and a lot of testosterone and i didn't mind it a bit lots of kind hearts words of encouragement and this is not a venue where children are exactly welcome you can bring them if they can behave themselves and then understand that they are surrounded by beards and testosterone and some bad language occasionally and things like that but i was uh, i was particularly touched well because then some people bring their families because like like one of them they live in a bus you know well they don't think they live in the bus but they came in a bus and so she brings all of her kids and there's two or three people that came in buses or campers and you know you bring your kids and uh, there were three little girls ah, i want to say they were 10 9, 10, 11 years old, and they all connected, and that made those two days go much faster for them. Because I can't imagine being sitting there at your parents' booth or listening to somebody else talk or going to somebody else's class at that age. And, and so it was really cool to see those kids connect. And I think they're trying to get like an SRF for kids, a South Reliance Festival for kids, a place where the kids can all be and be together and enjoy themselves without being surrounded by all these all these older adults and, and classes and booths and stuff like that. And they're trying, but it's, it's just going to take some time, but they'll get there, I think. Uh, one thing I learned had nothing to do with the actual self-reliance festival itself i work hard to make my family happy to, to take care of things for them make sure there's food in the house make sure that everybody's fed on the laundry's done i mean i just work really hard and i even get tired from it sometimes and that when i went to florida and i'm leaning on my thing when i went to florida for two weeks I worked real hard to make sure there was enough food, and you know, extra food, the stuff that Kinsey likes to cook and stuff like that. And I don't know, her food that she likes is really expensive, and so I had already spent a whole bunch of money on regular groceries, and then she and there the hundred dollars on groceries that she wanted, and I don't know. And then they ate out, out a lot and stuff like that too. And this time I just left. My house is full of food. It is. It's just full of food. It, there's and uh, if they can't figure out how to find something to eat, it's on them. My granddaughter's seventeen. <laughs> My husband is sixty-one. You know, they've been around for a while. He's been around for a while. You know, even if he has to go get sandwich stuff, go get sandwich stuff. I don't care. And um, I did discover that was the right thing to do. It was. It was the right thing for me to make them think. To make them figure out what they're going to do because Kenzie works too she worked like two or three two nights I think that I was gone and uh so she, you know she was going to be gone anyway and so Tom was going to be there by himself he needed to figure and I had leftovers too so they were they you know I keep leftovers for a week I don't care what that they say this if it's three days or whatever I keep leftovers for a week I even keep a little calendar and if it's after it's been a week you either goes to the pigs or to the dogs and everybody's happy you know and anytime you want to eat something all you do is go to the refrigerator and you know during that week that it sits there and there's all kinds of food in the refrigerator and they don't have to worry about whether it's still good or not because i've done that part too so yeah okay there you go there's kind of an indication right there all right so that is something i did learn they can take care of themselves and i have to admit i'm grateful all right, I've got to get back to work. I've got lots to do. I just wanted to share with you a little bit of it, and I didn't. I didn't do hardly any of this stuff. I took a, a scythe class. I needed to take that scythe class. Oh, in fact, 
if you go back and watch that video about the seven reasons I wanted to size and you see me watch it looking at it if you know anything about sizing you know I did it all wrong oh well I learned I but within about first five minutes of that class I thought hmm I didn't been doing that wrong but I know now all right guys I'm gonna get back to work I'm gonna try to get some energy back so I can get back to real work and stuff I am back working on the bathroom I am uh, I gotta get some work done it done in the vineyard there's always something to do but I'm gonna get back at it God bless, guys. I'll see you next time. And help, help me out. Help me grow this channel. Um, subscribe. Like some of these videos. And tell other people about this old lady who does the very best she can with all that she can. And uh, um, so maybe they can be encouraged to get up and do stuff even in their age. Live, guys. Live until you die. And I'll see you next time. God bless.